Hello world, it's Bobby Lee's RC's here. How are you guys today? Well, I wanted to talk to you today about a couple of things and uh, one of them being how to change out your stock transmitter and radio on any of your vehicles. Um, the reason I'm doing this is I went to drive this today and I couldn't remember what remote it was. So I just so happened to have a couple of these laying around, these receivers. And these belong to a Flysky GT3C. This is what I'm going to bind this with, guys. Um, this is an awesome little remote here. It's got a uh, lithium ion battery. It does not take double-A batteries like the other remotes. Um, I have some remotes that take up to eight double-A batteries. Guys, that is crazy. Um, this little guy here takes a, lith a 4.2 lithium ion battery. It is awesome, guys, awesome. It runs up to 10 vehicles, uh, 10 of your RCs on this one truck. So you just have to buy these little receivers here and bada bing, bada boom. Um, you can run up to 10 of your RCs off of one of these guys. Um, so anyway, let's get to the how-to here. So we're going to take off the lid. I've already taken out the clips for us. Um, that can be tedious sometimes. So I've taken off the lid. Check this out, guys. Look at the detail on that little thing. So this is the uh, Scully here, the Traxxas Scully. My son and I both own one of these. This is a green one, and I own, um, he owns the blue one. So it's a cool little truck, guys, and it's tough. All right, look at this. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into this little box here. We're going to go into this little box here and remove that receiver, the stock receiver, to put in the new one, okay? So what we're going to need for this job is our handy dandy little tool kit here. Any RC guy ought to have one of these. It's got your Phillips, your Flats, and your Allens. Um, this one's pretty handy, I like it. Everything's right there around the side there. Um, pretty heavy duty also. So uh, what we're gonna do is find the right size here. The first cover here is uh, Traxxas' waterproofing cover here. This is to keep all of the moisture and um, heavy water out of your receiver box here. Uh, but it is not completely waterproof, guys. Uh, do not completely submerge your vehicles. It's not good for them. Um, water resistant, yes. Waterproof, no. Okay, so we're gonna take this off. Set that aside. All right. Now the next two here, they have a different size. So um, let's find the right size for that. And while we're doing that guys, I wanna give a shout out to my team members over at Number Five Designs. Um, if you haven't already, go over and check them out. You can get yourself some awesome paint jobs on your RCs, um, some awesome artwork guys. He is a great artist, a great guy. Go over and check him out. Number five designs. They um, we have a 2018 team getting together. Um, I'm part of that team. Uh, we're sponsoring, so we're collabing together. But uh, a big shout out to them. Um, awesome. So let's find the right size. Okay. Tick tock, tick tock. Awesome. Got it. That's the thing about having everything right there at hand, guys. You can just split second you can flip it over all right so what we're removing now guys is the two bolts that holds this lid right here together okay holds it with the watertight seal in the middle so we're going to get these out I'm going to show you what's in there show you what we're removing show you what I'm adding. So. Awesome. So, that had a pretty good seal, guys. This is what we're removing, guys. 
This is stuck with this vehicle. Okay? We're going to put in the new one. So first you just remove these two wires here, which is your ESC and your steering servo. One to turn, two to burn. Okay, so we've got those unplugged. We do not need to remove them from the lid. It just makes more work for us, guys. We're just going to slide that over to the side. And take note, this blue seal here is a waterproofing seal or water-resisting seal, guys. Don't lose that and, and make sure when you put your lid back on that it's good and sealed around there, okay? So, next thing we're going to do is remove this blue antenna pole here and remove the cable. Be careful not to break that, nick that, or cut the tips off of this, guys. You're going to lose signal. You're going to lose range. Um, it's not going to be a fun day, okay? So let's get something so we can pry this box out of here. It has double-sided tape on it. So once again, our little screwdriver has a flat head. We're going to take that and just a little pry. It doesn't take much, guys. It doesn't take much at all. So here is what we removed, guys. Alrighty. Just going to set this aside. Actually, look, we're going to use its double-sided tape. That was awesome. Let's put that right back in the box, guys. And let me show you what I'm going to replace this with. You guys see that? All right, awesome. Now this goes with the uh, remote I was telling you about with you guys about earlier. <clears throat> and these are awesome, guys. The range is is really good. The, the reception is really good. I have zero complaints about it. I have three other vehicles so far running on this same remote. I have my T Max running on it. I have a Slash running on it, and I have a, a crawler running on it that you've seen in one of the other videos that I have, uh, the 116th crawler. Um, you can go check that out. Um, I'll either put that in the link up top or you can just search through my other videos and find that. Um, while we're speaking of that, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button that I put right up top there. There's a little card there that says subscribe. Click on that for me. <clears throat> awesome. So let's go ahead and uh, take this. I put the double sided tape in here already. So this is what we're looking at right here, guys. Cool. So <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and feed this wire, our antenna wire, through the slot here because we want it to stay water resistant. We're going to go ahead and press on the double, press it onto the double-sided tape here. And remember guys, when you plug it back up, you have to make sure you plug it up right, okay? So it's one to turn, two to burn, all right? So make sure that you have your steering servo, which I have here. We're going to plug that into channel number one, okay? And then we're going to take our ESC and we're going to plug it into channel number two. Alrighty, so here's what we have to do guys. This receiver come with a little binding plug, so we're going to have to make sure we bind this to the remote or it will not work for us. So what we do before we close everything back up is we plug this into channel number three. Okay guys? and you're going to turn your vehicle on. So we're going to grab this battery, we're going to plug it up,
let's go ahead and stick this in here because there's a couple of things that I got to show you when we do this. Once again, guys, these little clips are sometimes very tedious, but very well worth it, okay? All right, guys, so once you get your binding plug plugged into channel 3, you put your battery in and plug it up, okay, guys? We're going to power up the ESC, and once you do that, your receiver box should be blinking, just like it is. That is in binding mode. It is waiting for a signal from your remote. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take our Flaskide 3, 3T3C, GT3C, sorry guys, sorry, it's been a long day guys. So we're going to take our Flaskide GT3C, we're going to hold the bind button right here, we're going to hold that button, and we're going to turn it on. Actually, pause. Let's turn this off. I tell you, it's been a long day, guys. Before you do all of that, let's turn your remote on and let's go to the right channel. So we want to select model. Okay. And we want to scroll over to an open spot which on mine is going to be model number three is open for us guys so once we get on model number three we can now turn our remote off turn our ESC back on we should still see the blinking red lights guys which is binding mode now we're going to hold the bind button and we're going to power on and when we do, we ought to hear the truck. Awesome. Look, guys. Now the light's solid. That means it has binded. Now what you do is you turn the ESC off. Unplug your bind plug. And now you should be able to do as you should. Turn your remote on first, okay, and then turn on your truck, and you should have everything you need. So guys, that's how you connect, that's how you remove your stock receiver and transmitter, install your new one and bind it to the GT3C Flysky remote. While we're still here talking, I'm going to go ahead and push this button down. Let's cut everything off just for just for the sake of everything. We're going to put this cap back on. Pull our antenna wire out. Insert all of our screws back in where they belong. and tighten everything down. Now I hope you guys enjoy this video. There will be more to come. There's only one way to go from here and that's up guys. So like my video, share my video, comment below if you have any questions or concerns or if you have any kind of constructive criticism for my videos. Um, I'm very open to that. Um, just be nice guys. Uh, either way, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Peace out.